24 of the Hazar Yard Lads. Alright, week 24 of no shaving, no trimming whatsoever thus far. Only thing I've touched is the sideburns, as you can see, just kind of to allow it to kind of blend in, because the sideburns, uh, what happens is if they grow in too strong, it tends to overpower my cheeks. And it just looks really, really bad. A lot of guys can grow out their sideburns while they're doing their yeard, and it looks fine. Uh, I just can't do that because my cheeks aren't strong enough. It's just a reality. And as you can kind of see here, guys, uh, well, usually when I do my yeard updates, I kind of uh, do a tutorial of sorts where I, I talk about something about a certain topic that is, doesn't really uh, have anything to do with the yeard. Um, but I'm kind of separating them because in terms of keywords, it's not a smart idea. I'm trying to be a little more keyword savvy, guys, right? So what would happen is I would put like yeared week 15 updates at the end of uh, a tutorial that's like how to remove beard curls or how to even out your beard and what would happen is the keyword score wouldn't be as good so the video wouldn't do as well so I figured hey why don't I just separate <laughs> the update parts and the video and plus you know it's more content for you guys uh, it's just a win 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 situation and uh, so how's it been going well it's been going good how's it been going with you I want to know let me down in the comment section, let me know how your beard growing journeys are, let me know how your lives have been going, your, um, you know, have you, have you gotten anything from my content recently? That's what I want to know. And, uh, me personally, it's been going quite well. Uh, and the great thing that's been happening recently is this side of my beard has really been growing out quite nicely. As if you guys probably, you guys have probably noticed that... You know, for the longest time, I've been recording my yeard updates like this, right? Hey, take a look at the good side of my beard, right? But this side of my beard was always doing something weird. And until about now, it, it, right now it looks great. But for the longest time, it was doing a weird flippy thing. Uh, it, and it was really, really hard, hard to iron out that length. But now that that length is established, hey, it looks great to me. So hopefully it looks great to you guys too. Uh, but I, I will tell you something, the, <laughs> I haven't showed anyone yet this yet, but uh, as you can see, this is my chin growth. My chin growth ends about here. Let's pull out my neck growth. I don't know how much you guys can see, but it is pretty apparent that my neck growth is something like at least half an inch to an inch longer than my chin growth. Look how far it comes down. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's kind of why I have to style my beard forward like this. And when I do that, you know, e everything comes forward properly. And that's why, you know, right here, the end of my beard is a little, little bit thinner because that's actually not chin growth. My chin growth ends something like here. And this is all actually neck growth. See that? Uh, it comes down like that. But I can't flush it downwards because, well, that's what happens. <laughs> it just, it doesn't become part of my beard. It just leaves my beard. So that's why I kind of uh, style it in this uh, uh, cheese wedge <laughs> fashion. So yeah, apart from all that, I'm doing incredibly well. My wife and I are moving out soon. Uh, so y you might see a little bit of a hiatus when we're, the, we're, when we're in that whole scrambling phase. Uh, maybe instead of an every other day upload, you might just see two uploads that week and everything's um, kind of getting messed up. Uh, but yeah, I figured to let you know, but we're excited. Uh, <laughs> probably in the past in some of my videos, you probably heard uh, my, my friends screaming in the background. I love them, but uh, we like to get it. We want to get our own place. So I'm excited about that. And the uh, channel's doing incredibly well. Almost 2K subs. Wow, incredible. And sometimes you get into a negative headspace about it. And I, I know it's, you know, it's valid. Right, it's justifiable to feel that way even though, uh, no matter how big the growth is, because, well, we're, you know, we're uh, depressive creatures that uh, tend to overthink things. And the area in which I over overthought things all the time is, oh, the video I posted today didn't get the engagement I wanted, or I focused X amount of time on that video, and, you know, I put all that time into it, why didn't it do well? And then I just kind of came to it 
Well, no one cares. <laughs> no one cares if I don't, if I put X amount of time into a video. Uh, you know, what really matters is what can I give? You know, what value can I bring you? How consistently can I show up? And, uh, and do I create something amazing and creative every single day? That's what truly, truly matters. And once I started putting myself in the mindset of, hey, let's just create something awesome every single day that's working towards that goal. If you want to be a painter or a cartoonist or, um, I don't know, a graphic designer, I, I'm just saying a bunch of art stuff, I don't know why, or a musician, are you practicing your craft every single freaking day? <laughs> and uh, I've just, trying to make sure to practice my craft every single day, right? I, I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber. Uh, right now I am a YouTuber, uh, but you know, in the future I want to make, I want to be a entrepreneur that uh, kind of has, uh, you know, a kind of a focus on YouTube and my YouTube channel is gonna drive traffic to other places, my other platforms, my website, but YouTube is gonna be a great platform for me because my passion is really to change as many lives as possible. Um, people that were like me, you know, men that just don't feel like they have a place in the world, men that feel suppressed by the walls of society and are just so scared to do anything that is outside of their comfort zone. That's where I was and I want to facilitate that coming out of that box is in the best way possible. And the best way that I found to get out of that is to improve my style and grow a beard, improve my hair. All, all those things like that, which improves the external confidence, which can help the internal confidence, but then I also, you know, do my little talks that uh, hopefully fosters the internal confidence as well. So within this channel, it kind of, kind of uh, encompasses all of it. But yeah, guys, I guess my question of the day is, have you done something creative today? Something that is working towards that goal? Did you do something awesome today? That's all that really, really matters guys and everything else comes with it I, I've been trying to focus on making better thumbnails and I've been trying to focus on a lot of other aspects but that all, that all just came naturally right uh, obviously you have to learn how to edit better and uh, you have to learn incrementally incrementally improve your skills and, but that uh, that comes along with the consistency and you know doing something awesome every single day and wanting to improve and that. And one of the best ways to improve is to be consistent. So, anyway, classic Kaz ramble for you. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I love you, Lance. I hope you did something awesome today. If so, let me know.